We are your local election headquarters. The Democratic candidates running for Vermont State Senate in Washington County took the stage tonight. This because Anthony Polina is retiring. Local 22's Sam Israel watched the forum. He's live in the newsroom tonight to tell us what some of the big issues were about. That's right, Lauren. Well, five Democratic candidates are in the race, but once it's all said and done, only three will advance to the general election. The forum tonight focused on issues ranging from Vermont's housing crisis, climate change, and clean water. From a college professor to a city mayor, candidates from all walks of life want to be a state senator representing Washington County. Democratic candidates agree on most issues, but they each come from unique backgrounds. Ann Cummings is seeking her 12th two-year term in the Senate. Like many in the race, she's concerned about the environment, in particular the pollution that's been done to Lake Champlain. We've been putting phosphorus into Lake Champlain for generations, and it's bonded down there with solid material. Jared Duval is the executive director for the Energy Action Network, a Vermont environmental group. Many candidates like Duval see farms disappearing in Vermont. Vermont without farms might be a nice, could, might be able to be a nice place, but it could never be Vermont. Jeremy Hansen teaches computer science at Norwich University. Hansen believes adding housing downtown is a win-win for both housing and the climate. When you have housing that is built and that's accessible in downtowns, those places can be walkable. And when you have the ability to walk to the store um, and you don't have to turn on your car to do that, um, there's a big win all the way around. It's cheaper and it, it protects the environment at the same time. Ann Watson has been a Montpelier High School physics teacher for over 15 years. She's also Montpelier's current mayor. Watson is one of the many candidates who want to see ranked choice voting implemented across the Green Mountain State. We need ranked choice voting. Uh, I think it makes sense. Andrew Perchlick is running for his third term in the Senate. Perchlick doesn't believe the state is currently doing enough to address renewable energy. Uh, wind that's Cited here in Vermont, I think is, is really important. And the state has taken an anti wind stance since Governor Scott has been elected. All the candidates say tackling climate change is at the top of their list if elected. Now, the Democratic primaries will take place on August 9th. The top three candidates will take on two Republicans in November Paul Bean and Randolph native Dwayne Tucker. Live from the newsroom tonight, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.